All right guys, check it out. Today's video was intended to be a homemade body armor test. Rifle rated homemade body armor, in fact. It was sent by a viewer. We started testing it and realized pretty quickly it was not going as planned. I filmed this a couple months ago and I wasn't even gonna upload it, but I figured screw it. Let's post it and let y'all see what happens when homemade body armor is not properly designed. It doesn't end well. By the way, I mean no shade or disrespect towards the viewer that sent it in. I appreciate it all the same. This is all part of the learning process. And if you're gonna make homemade body armor, be sure you test it before you trust it. Otherwise, you might find out the hard way it's not sufficient. So, homemade body armor fail, here it is. Hope y'all enjoy the video. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we have another homemade body armor from a viewer video. And this one was actually sent by NC Mountain Adventures, the same guy who sent the first one that stopped pistols. But this one, he believes, will be able to stop rifles. He does have a YouTube channel called NC Mountain Adventures, go check it out. And he actually filmed a YouTube short kind of showing what all he put into this. I'll try to link it in the description box or maybe even on the screen. I believe it is fairly similar ingredients to what he put in the first one. Tin foil, construction paper, pennies. He might've added some ceramic and maybe a couple other slight changes. And this one looks even thinner and more nicely put together than the pistol armor did. So if it actually stops a rifle, I'll be impressed. All right, we've got the body armor set up on the table with a cinder block behind it. Nothing special for the backstop. And as he did last time, he included some artwork with it. So this is the side we will be shooting. Last time, some of y'all were pretty disappointed that I didn't cut it open and show you what was inside. That was kind of my way of directing traffic to his channel, but I do understand. So this time, if there's anything left at the end of the video, maybe we'll cut it open and see what's inside. All right, since this is a rifle test, we're not gonna shoot too many pistols, but we have to start with the nine millimeter. This is the Calico M950. I just did a full video on it and it is one of the weirdest looking pistols I've ever seen. It's pretty cool though. All right, let's shoot the body armor. Nine millimeter hit right there. Surprisingly, it didn't move the body armor at all. And if we flip it over, of course, it did not go through. That's a good start. All right, let's go ahead and try the 10 millimeter. This is a very powerful handgun round and we're shooting it out of the Glock 20. I'm gonna try to keep these on the top half and then when we get to the rifles, we'll put those on the bottom. Looks like it went right in his ear hole. All right, 10 millimeter hit right there, just above his ear and we don't even have a bulge. That's a good sign because on the last one, I think the 10 millimeter did significantly more damage. So we're on the right track. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a minute to thank our sponsor for today's video, Works Holsters. This little rig is the outside the waistband Glock 19 holster for the Streamlight TLR1. I went outside the waistband on this one because I don't conceal carry this. It's mainly for the range, but Works specializes in holsters specifically for firearms with weapon mounted lights. Most violent encounters happen in low or no light situations, and it is very important to have a light on your self-defense gun. Unfortunately, there's not an abundance of holsters for weapon mounted lights, but Works has definitely made a good one. They use very sturdy belt loops, so no flimsy little clips, and it does have tension screws so you can finely tune this thing to fit your setup perfectly. I actually have not had to adjust this one at all. It came from the factory pretty much right on. Listen for the click. That's a good thing. If a holster doesn't click, I just don't feel as confident in its retention. That's Works Holsters. Go check them out. There will be a link in the description box below. And if you use the code ONESHOT10, you'll get 10% off your order. And again, I wanna thank Works Holsters for sponsoring today's video. All right, one more handgun. We have the 5.7 by 28 green tip, and we're shooting it out of the Ruger 57. As far as handguns go, this is as close as you get to a rifle, and the green tip will consistently defeat level 3A body armor, so it's a hard one to stop. I'm gonna try to put this one above the 10 millimeter. It's such a small bullet, I can't even tell if I hit the body armor. Okay, the 5.7 went right there in that little thought bubble. And once again, not even any deformation. So 
it easily stopped it. Well, I never really know what caliber to start with when we get out the rifles because the 7.62 is bigger than the 223, but it's also going slower. And they say speed is what defeats body armor. But in my experience, that has not always been the case. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the 223. And we're shooting it out of the Mark 18 pistol. And you're not gonna believe this, but I forgot the magazine. So we're gonna manually insert this one into the chamber. That's not a good sign. Well, I saw a bunch of confetti fly out the back, so I have a feeling that one went through. You can see the entrance hole right there towards the bottom. If we flip it over, there is an exit hole. I gotta be honest, I was not expecting that. I did think it would stop the 223, and it might have just hit in the perfect spot to sneak through. That's always a possibility with homemade body armor. Doesn't matter either way because it did defeat it, but we're gonna try a couple more rifles. Like I said, the 223 is not an easy round to stop because it's going so fast. So next up, we're gonna try the 762 by 39 out of the AK-47. This is a bigger round than the 223, but it's not going quite as fast. Let's see if we can stop it. Nope. Seven six two hit right there. I'm sure you all saw the confetti. Once again, it did blow straight through. All right, well, we know this body armor will not stop the high velocity rifles, so let's try something a little bit slower. This is a 405 grain plus P 4570. Of course, we're shooting this one out of the Henry. I'm trying to give it a chance, brother. Let's see. That went through too. Forty-five seventy hit right there. You can see that giant entrance hole. And once again, that one also blew right through. The forty-five seventy is going about a thousand feet per second slower than the two two three and several hundred feet per second slower than the seven six two. So I thought it would actually stop that one but I was wrong. This does not appear to be rifle rated body armor. Well, usually we work our way up through different calibers. On this one, I'm trying to work my way down and find a rifle that this armor will actually stop because it's definitely not gonna stop the 308 or any of the other rifles that I brought out. The only one left is the 3030, and I don't think it will stop this either, but we're gonna try it. This is the Marlin 3030 lever action. I'm trying to give you at least one victory here, buddy. Put this one towards the top. Straight through. Well, now we know what not to do if you wanna make homemade rifle rated body armor because this ain't stopping anything. And the 30-30 went in up there towards the top right corner, completely away from any other bullets. I actually did a good job in this video of spacing these out, but if we flip it over, there is a giant exit hole. And that's the risk of testing stuff for the very first time. I really had high hopes for this homemade body armor, but it's not rated for rifles. All right, guys, I think I found a rifle caliber that this body armor will stop, the almighty 22 long rifle. As you all know, the 22 is one of the most powerful rifle calibers to ever exist. Shout out to Leather Action 1 for making me this awesome stock cover and shell holder. It even has my name on the other side. Leather Action 1 on Instagram and YouTube, go check him out. He does great custom leather work and I could not be happier with this thing, so. Let's try the 22 and see if this thing can actually stop a rifle. I have faith. This is kind of funny, laying on the ground right in front of our table is a penny. 
that came out of the body armor. And it looks like it took a straight on bullet impact. The 22 hit right there. Let's flip it over. No way, dude, it stopped it, bruh. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for me with this homemade body armor test. I wanna thank NC Mountain Adventures for sending this out. Of course, go check out his channel. Um, I'm not even sure if this video will go up. I'll have to talk to him first because it's not what he expected, I'm sure. Maybe I could title it as like a homemade body armor fail. You win some, you lose some. He is now one and one on this channel. The last body armor he sent worked great. This one, not so much. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Again, if you have good homemade body armor that you wanna send me to try, contact me on Instagram and I would be happy to test it. I was gonna cut this open and show you guys what was inside of it, but I don't really see the point because it didn't stop much. So he does have a YouTube short on his channel showing what all went into this. Maybe you could watch that and get some ideas on how to improve it. Um, I had fun, not the result I was expecting and I'm sure not the result he was expecting either, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, hit the like button for me guys, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.